geography 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 class we are going to start the second chapter of geography this is structure and physiography basically we are going to learn how india was formed okay the initial stage uh, when the earth was being formed and then further uh, what happened and how our country uh, gained shape that is what we will be looking into and in which parts we can divide uh, india okay we can divide india into different parts what are those parts and we will be going into the details of every part this is quite a detailed chapter he aur chuke ho there are lot of new things in this chapter in class 10 the similar chapter was there okay so let us see these are things that some of some of the things obviously you'll be knowing uh, some of you must uh, must be remembering most of the uh, things that are there in this chapter but overall a very interesting chapter you cannot ignore this if you have to learn geography then this is kind of a base you cannot learn about the indian geography with, uh, if we ignore this chapter okay so you must have heard lot of words and probably you will understand uh, the meanings and they keep appearing so we'll also uh, look into some of the words what they mean now structure and physiography okay structure uh, by structure we mean uh, with what material this is made what kind of a structure this is okay has it been made out of volcanic uh, eruptions or is it uh, made of silt and sand okay how these mountains came up so that is of uh, the structure okay and physiography are physical features what we see this is a desert these are mountains this is a plain these are islands this is a uh, coastal plain so those are called uh, physical features uh, so that is what we mean by physiography so we we'll see uh, the different parts of uh, india okay uh, we will go into details of every part in which part uh, what kind of uh, the reason is whether there are hills what kind of hills are there if there are rivers then what kind of rivers we'll be learning into the lot of details in this chapter okay but before that when the earth was being formed and earth was formed now approximately this is the uh, date uh, which is considered the date for the formation of earth this is that earth is 460 million years old okay in the chapter of history the first chapter of history you learned that uh, human beings started evolving around 5.6 million years ago and we see we think it's a very long period but as far as earth is concerned earth is 460 million years old and you know that 1 million is equal to 10 lakhs so this is almost 46 crore years old so a very old uh, it's not something very new but let us see how it was formed initially uh, you all know that it was uh, hot magma initially the earth then it cooled down slowly and slowly and the upper part of the earth okay that solidified okay when the earth cooled down only the upper part the crust is only 1% of the total earth surface so that upper part okay that solidified and a super continent was formed which is called by the name pangaea okay we refer to this as pangaea and it was a super continent because all continents that we see today they were all in this one large block okay called pangaea then because this was not a, a, on a solid surface below this surface it is kind of on a on a molten lava a semi liquid state so if you have a boat on a river that will not remain stable okay because it's on water but below this obviously it's not proper liquid it's molten lava so these these plates they are not stationary they keep moving and there are many obviously uh, gaps in these and uh, from where this these uh, plates broke into uh, different uh, blocks 
Then we see this supercontinent breaking into different pieces because obviously because of the interplay of a lot of forces. Okay, and, uh, the upper part came to be known as Eurasian Cape, the part where Europe is. Okay, so Hispania Cape basically two part ho gaye, and the upper part tha, wo Eurasian plate kalaya because us plate mein hai Europe and the niche wala part hai. That is known as Indo-Australian plate, and then this was the Australia ka part hai, that broke away and drifted to where Australia is at the present. So basically, you will see that India and Australia were, were once together, and then obviously the Australian part broke and it drifted back. If you try and fit all the continents, if you try and fit all the continents, because we are used to seeing that flat map. And then उस flat map में अगर आप देखोगे, then if you try and fit South America into Africa, it will fit. If you try and fit Africa into India, okay, then it will fit. And then Australia, if you bring all these pieces together, they kind of fit into one another. So these are pieces of like these are puzzle pieces, okay? Because they were once together, they were all part of this Indo. Australian plate, okay. This Indo-Australian plate, it started drifting towards the north. Uh, there was a sea in between, which is called Tethys Sea, okay. And this plate started drifting towards north. The north ki taraf move karne lagi, and this plate or this plate ke beech mein, obviously, they banged into each other. It was a huge collision. And the result of this collision, the Tethy Sea that vanished, and in this area, okay. So now that is where India becomes important now. The southern part, which is the peninsular block, okay. This peninsular block was part of the Indo-Australian plate. This part, obviously, when it banked into the Eurasian plate. And because of this collision, huge collision, Himalayan mountains were formed. So you can imagine how large this collision would have been. Because the Himalayan mountains are approximately five to six kilometers high. Okay, so they are really high, and they were formed as a result of this collision. And between the Himalayan mountains. Okay, between the Himalayan mountains and this peninsular block, there was a huge basin or huge valley, which was filled by the Himalayan rivers, the Indus, the Ganga, and the Brahmaputra. They brought in a lot of silt, and this entire area was filled with silt and came to be popularly known as Northern Plain. So basically, we are seeing. That there are three different structures uh, with which India has been formed. पहला तो ये peninsular block है. इस peninsular block को see there are lot of hills, uh, lot of uh, names that will be coming across, and it's very difficult to remember all of them. But you have to obviously practice uh, these maps. Okay, you have to look into the maps. Many of the maps are given in your book, but sometimes you will not find. Uh, everything in this book, so you can refer to the atlas. It's very important that you have a fair idea. This is what the peninsular block it is. The southern part. You know, a peninsula is a land surrounded uh, by water from three sides. So in the south we have got Indian Ocean. Here we have got the Arabian Sea uh, on the western side, and on the eastern side we have got Bay of Bengal. So this is obviously a peninsula. And this this is called Peninsular Block. This is the oldest landmass of India. This was once a part of this Indo-Australian plate. This is very old, very solid, very stable. Unlike the northern uh, region of India. Okay. Now here we have the Aravallis. We are seeing this block. Uh, obviously, uh, not properly made. You can look into the, your atlases, and you will find Aravalli here. You will find Gir Range in Gujarat. Aravalli touches uh, uh, it moves till Delhi. Okay, so 
Delhi is on the tip of Aravalli. So this uh, Delhi and uh, this Rajasthan area that is covered by Aravalli. Here, Jharkhand area, we have got Chota Nagpur Plateau and uh, Rajmahal Hills. Now, this part, so this basically uh, becomes a triangle, okay, irregular triangle, not a very proper triangle, but this kind of forms an irregular triangle. In the south, we have got Kadwan Hills. So, the land between these hills, the Gir Range, the Arabi Range, Chota Nagpur Plateau, and Kadwan Hills, this basically forms an irregular triangular and this is called the peninsular block. This peninsular block was once part of the Indo-Australian plate and is the oldest landmass of India. Okay, the northern plain and the Himalayas have been formed much later. Even the hilly areas, even the hills, sometimes you must be seeing that we use the word hills, sometimes we use the word mountains. The difference is only in the height. Okay, smaller mountains are called hills and obviously for Himalayas we use mountains because their, their altitude is high but in the southern region also we have got hills. Okay, these western ghats, these western ghats and these eastern ghats. Okay, so this is the second uh, physiological division. Okay, and uh, this was the first, the peninsular block and this is the mountains. Okay. So the time period and how these mountains were formed were different uh, in the way how peninsular block was formed. This is a different way of forming. This is old. These hills and hills and mountains are formed in the past. In fact, these are being formed now. Okay, you must remember and you must have read also sometimes in the news that Himalayas have obviously increased by few inches. Okay, now what makes them increase? Now you can see that this collision which took uh, so many years back, okay, this collision between these two plates, that impact, that impact is still there. The north, the this plate is still pushing, trying to push the Eurasian plate because of which the mountains are rising. They are rising very slowly, uh, just few inches a year, but they are rising. Even the hills, this western part. Uh, yeah, these western parts and eastern parts and a lot of hills you will see Mahindragiri and all okay, uh, the part of uh, east, eastern parts so a lot of hills here they have also been formed much later uh, because of this collision okay and most part of this peninsular block the western part of the peninsular block is uh, some part of this is below the sea also okay so these mountains this is the second division, the peninsula block, that is the first division. Then we have the mountains and the third is the, which we popularly known as Northern Plains. But here it has been called indo Ganga brahmaputra Plain. Because this has been formed by Indus, Ganga and Brahmaputra. Okay. There are three river systems which originate from Himalayas. River system मैंने बताया था एक main river होती है and उसके tributaries and distributaries को अगर हम जोड़ दें तो फिर हम उसे river system कहते हैं तो हम देखते हैं कि हमारे ऐसे तीन river system उज्जैन होते हैं एक है इंदस इंदस और उसकी कई सारे tributaries और झेलम रवि व्यास चेना तो other सब और सब and then we have got Ganga उसकी कई सारे tributaries हैं in fact यमुना भी गंगा की tributary है then घाघर कोसी so on, Chamo, these are all uh, tributaries of Ganga. Okay, and then we have Brahmaputra coming from the eastern region, entering into India from Arunachal Pradesh, moving into Assam. Okay, so because of these rivers, which continuously brought in silt, the mountains are jumping, so obviously, both erosion activity is going to erode here, silt is going to be with the silt, and it is going to कि वजह से दिस विच वाज अ डीप वैली कुलीजन की वजह से जो बीच में वैली बन गई थी वो धीरे-धीरे फेल हो गई एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड द इंडो गंगा ब्रह्मपुत्र प्लेन तो इंडिया के ये थ्री जियोलॉजिकल डिवीजन है वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट फिजियोग्राफी हम फिजिकल फीचर्स की बात नहीं कर रहे हैं जब हम इसको 
इसका अपियरेंस देखेंगे तो इसमें फिर हमें और डिविजन देखने को मिलेगा हमें लगेगा कि ये आइलैंड्स हैं ये ऑब्वियसली या फॉरेस्ट है ये डेजर्ट है वो फिजिकल डिविजन की बात नहीं हो रही है ये टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ दे वर फॉर्म हम स्ट्रक्चर की बात कर रहे हैं ओके एंड ये स्ट्रक्चर इसमें दो वर्ड और यूज होते हैं एंड वन इज एंडोजेनिक एंड एन दी सेकेंड वन इज एक्सोजेनिक ओके These words have been used in this chapter: exogenic and endogenic. Okay, this exogenic and endogenic. What are these? Now it says, uh, if I can read this out, where these words have been used in your book. Okay, if you can now uh, obviously see uh, these words have been used. Yes, it says the Himalayas and Peninsular Mountains. The Himalayas, along with other peninsular mountains, are young, weak, and flexible. Why they are young? Because obviously they've been formed after. Okay, so they are relatively young. Not that they are only few years old. They are also very old, but they are comparatively younger to the peninsular block. So peninsular, which is our most oldest land mass, in its comparison, the Himalayas are young, weak. तभी हम देखते हैं कि वहाँ पे लैंड स्लाइड्स होती है एंड दीज आर वीक माउंटेन दीज आर नॉट एज सॉलिड एज बेस्ट टू गार्ड्स एंड ऑल ओके दीज आर यंग माउंटेन्स ओके एंड अनलाइक दी रिजिड एंड स्टेबल पेनिसुलर ब्लॉक ये काफ़ी रिजिड काफ़ी एंड स्टेबल है ये ओके कॉन्सिक्वेंटली दे आर स्टिल सब्जेक्टेड टू दी इंटरप्ले अभी हिल्स एंड माउंटेन्स की बात हो रही है That is still subjected to the exogenic and endogenic forces. अब भी इन forces का इन पे असर हो रहा है. Endogenic होते हैं below the earth surface से जो force हो रहा है. The earthquakes and the volcanoes. Okay. So the molten lava inside obviously that exerts lot of pressure जिसके वजह से volcanoes and earthquakes होते हैं. तो उसका अभी भी असर हो रहा है mountains पर. And exogenic. एक्सोजेनिक इज ऑब्वियसली अब ऑफ दी सर्फेस जिसमें रेन विंड सनलाइट उनका भी असर होता है लैंड पर एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दीज दीज आर स्टिल चेंजिंग ओके सो दीज आर कॉल्ड एंडोजेनिक एंड एक्सोजेनिक एंडोजेनिक इज विद इन दी अर्थ एंड एक्सोजेनिक इज आउटसाइड दी अर्थ सर्फेस ओके विद इन दी अर्थ सर्फेस एंड आउटसाइड दी अर्थ सर्फेस तो रेन विंड सनलाइट ये एक्सोजेनिक फोर्सेस कहलाएंगे एंड अर्थक्वेक एंड वॉल के लो ये एंडोजेनिक फोर्सेस कहलाएंगे ओके और इन दोनों ही एंडोजेनिक एंड एक्सोजेनिक फोर्सेस की वजह से ये जो माउंटेन्स हैं हिमालयन माउंटेन्स और पेनिसुलर माउंटेन्स ऑब्वियसली दे आर एवर चेंजिंग दे आर यंग दे आर वीक एंड दे आर फ्लेक्सीबल अनलाइक दी पेनिसुलर ब्लॉक ओके तो हम बेसिकली इंडिया के तीन हमने यहाँ पर जियोलॉजिकल डिविजन्स देखे एक है पेनिसुलर ब्लॉक ब्लॉक देन वी सॉ दी हिमालयाज एंड अदर पेनिसुलर माउंटेन्स यू नोट टू गेट कंफ्यूज टू दो बोथ वर्ड्स दे मिल्क हिमालयाज एंड पेनिसुलर बट यहाँ पे बेसिकली बात हो रही है माउंटेन्स की चाहे वो हिमालयाज हो चाहे फिर वो पेनिसुलर ब्लॉक वाले माउंटेन्स हो जिनको पेनिसुलर माउंटेन्स कहा गया है एंड थर्ड इज दिस नॉर्दर्न प्लेन जो क्लासेस में जो हर दिस वर्ड किसी का भी यूज़ किया होगा नॉर्दर्न प्लेन ये इंडो गंगा ब्रह्मपुत्र प्लेन नॉर्दर्न प्लेन को ही कहा गया है यहाँ पे इन इन रिवर्स के नाम को कनेक्ट कर दिया गया है बाय इंडो वी मीन इंडस गंगा एंड ब्रह्मपुत्र क्योंकि ये प्लेन इन तीन रिवर सिस्टम्स ने बनाया है इसलिए इसका नाम इन तीन रिवर्स के ऊपर रखा गया है यानी इट इज़ पॉपुलरली कॉल्ड इंडो गंगा ब्रह्मपुत्र प्लेन so uh, this is the simple explanation and uh, we will also see this peninsular block the equal part uh, which extends to the east okay you can see in your atlas and uh, there you can find and locate karbi and long and meghale plateau so ye jo peninsular plateau hai ye yahi khatam nahi ho jata hai ye aage meghale region and uh, anglong plateau uh, karbi anglong Please look at this in your atlas. Karbi Anglong Plateau and Meghalaya Plateau. So, one of these areas is here. And 
और फिर एक पार्ट उसका वहाँ पर भी है ईस्टर्न साइड में बीच में क्या होता है बीच में ऑब्वियसली इट इज रन ओवर बाय द इंडो गैजेटिक प्लेन तो वो थोड़ा ओवरलैप कर जाता है और ये जो पेरिस्टल ब्लॉक है वो नीचे चला जाता है और इसके ऊपर से फ्लो कर रहा है इंडो गैजेटिक प्लेन जो कि ये रिवर्स वगैरह ने यहाँ पर डेल्टा बनाती है तो ये इतनी कि सी जो टू एक सिंगल ब्लॉक होना चाहिए था वो उसमें डिविजन आ जाता है बिकॉज ऑफ ब्रह्मपुत्र एंड गंगा फॉर्मिंग दी शुद्ध वन डेल्टा है ओके तो बीच में थोड़ा सा वी कैन से दैट द पेनिसुलर ब्लॉक के दो पार्ट हैं एक तो ये रेगुलर ट्राइंगल हो गया जिसमें हमने देखा कि यहाँ पे इस एंड में गिर रेंज इधर अरावली छोटा नागपुर प्लेटियो एंड खुदी साउथ इस कार्डमन प्लेटियो कार्डमन हिल सॉरी तो ये रेगुलर ट्राइंगल हो गया एंड देन इन दी ईस्टर्न साइड वी हैव इसी का एक पार्ट और है विच इज एंग्लो प्लेटियो एंड दी मेघालय प्लेटियो ओके वी कैन से पेनेसिलो ब्लॉक के दो पार्ट हैं ओके एंड देन दी सेकेंड जो जियोलॉजिकल डिविजन है उसमें सारे हिल्स एंड माउंटेन्स का है वो चाहे वो हिमालयन माउंटेन्स हों या फिर वो पेनिसुलर माउंटेन्स हों जो जो कि अभी भी बदल रहे हैं और वो यंग हैं वो वीक हैं ये बाद में बने हैं ओके सारे माउंटेन्स एंड दी थर्ड इज जो कि इसके फैक्ट हम कह सकते हैं कि सबसे लास्ट में जो फॉर्म हुआ दैट वॉज दी इंडो गंगा ब्रह्मपुत्र प्लेन तो ये आई होप यू हैव अ ब्रीफ आइडिया आपको हो गया होगा कि ये जियोलॉजिकल डिविजन्स क्या हैं एक तो अर्थ का याद रखना है कि इट इज़ फोर सिक्सटी मिलियन ईयर्स ओल्ड देन वी कैन से दैट वी कैन डिवाइड इंडिया इन टू थ्री जियोलॉजिकल उसके डिविजन्स हैं वन इज़ द पेनिसुलर ब्लॉक जो कि साउथ का बारह ब्लॉक है द सेकेंड इज़ द हिमालयाज एंड द पेनिसुलर माउंटेन्स ओके थर्ड इज द इंडो गंगा ब्रह्मपुत्र प्लेन अब इसको हम डिटेल में पढ़ेंगे ओके ये पेनोसुलर ब्लॉक क्या है सो पेनोसुलर ब्लॉक मोस्ट ऑफ इट यू विल लर्न इसमें यू विल सी दैट देर आर लॉट ऑफ रिवर्स है ओके रिवर्स ऑल्सो यू नीड टू है आइडिया ये पेनोसुलर ब्लॉक थोड़ा टेंटेड है एंड इट इज स्लोपिंग टूवर्ड्स द ईस्ट दैट इज वाई यू विल सी दैट द रिवर्स दैट आर फ्लोइंग इसमें ईस्टर्न फ्लोइंग रिवर्स ज़्यादा है और वही तो यहाँ से जो वेस्ट घाट से रिवर्स निकलती है महानदी गोदावरी कृष्णा कावेरी ओके तो इनका डिरेक्शन इज ईस्ट फ्लोइंग रिवर्स ओके मोस्ट ऑफ द रिवर्स इन दी पेनिसुलर ब्लॉक आर ईस्ट फ्लोइंग रिवर्स वो ड्रेन करती हैं कहाँ बे ऑफ बंगाल में ओके इस बे ऑफ बंगाल में ड्रेन करती है ओरिजिनेट करती है वेस्टर्न से ओके मोस्ट ऑफ दम ओरिजिनेट फ्रॉम वेस्टर्न घाट and then they float towards the eastern because उस तरफ है gradient gradient is slope तो हम देख सकते हैं इससे हमें पता चलता है रिवर्स जिस डिरेक्शन में फ्लो करती है ग्रेडियंट उसी तरफ होगा तो रिवर के फ्लो से हम पता कर सकते हैं कि किस तरफ नीचा है किस तरफ ऊंचा है ओके तो ये जो रिवर्स है महानदी गोदावरी कृष्णा कावेरी ये मस्ट रिमेम्बर दिस बोल दे मैनी रिवर्स यू मस्ट रिमेम्बर दिस फोर ये काफ़ी इंपॉर्टेंट है ओके okay? और ये ईस्ट फ्लोइंग रिवर्स है देर आर मैनी रिवर्स आर ऑल्सो वेस्ट फ्लोइंग रिवर्स जो कि अरेबियन सी में जाती हैं आउट ऑफ देम आर इम्पॉर्टेंट ओके नर्मदा एंड देन काफ़ी रेड लाइन से फ्लो करती है नर्मदा ऑब्वियसली थोड़ी लेंदी है एंड देन तापी सो दीज फ्लो एंड दे फ्लो इन टू अरेबियन सी सो दिस पेनिसुलर ब्लॉक हैज नॉट नॉट ऑफ रिवर्स एंड मोस्ट ऑफ दिस ईस्टर्न फ्लोइंग रिवर्स दे कैरी आउट इरोजनल एक्टिविटी ये इनका जो रूट लंबा है तो ये इरोजन करती है एंड ये सिल्क डिपॉजिट करती है विच मीन्स दैट दे ऑल्सो फॉर्म डेल्टा ओके दिस ईस्टर्न फ्लोइंग रिवर्स दे फॉर्म सो वेन दे रीच दी एल एंड दैट देर दे फॉर्म डेल्टा तो ये काफ़ी सिल्ट कैरी करके ले जाती हैं एंड दे फॉर्म दी डेल्टा ऐसा हमें यहाँ देखने को नहीं मिलता एक तो ये रिफ्ट वैली से फ्लो कर रही है सरफेस हार्ड है इनका रूट बहुत लेंदी नहीं है रिवर्स है ये एंड 
they do not form deltas. So Narmadaya Tapi they do not form deltas because they are waste flowing rivers. And in the root which would have, but these are uh, eastern flowing rivers like Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri, they are east flowing rivers and they form deltas. So in peninsular block mein, uh, you should remember that it's the rivers hai and uh, okay. So the rift valleys of Narmada and Tapi and the Mahanadi and Sakura Bhav mountains are some examples. There will be a lot of names, but before you try remember every name, at least get the basics right. Okay, Sare rivers ki naam yaad karte, sare ranges and hills ki ek saath naam agar yaad karne ki koshin karoge, then obviously you have problem. Okay, in fact most of these things that I am telling you should have been made clear in class 8th or 9th. Okay, to ye wahi clear, wahi aapko samaj aana chahiye tha. And I hope most of you, I am not saying that you don't remember them, but I am sure most of you are very clear on this. That is why class 11th mein this is kind of a revision. Jo pada hai, once again we are going through it. Okay, so now in the next class we will be going into part by part, hum ek ek part ko dekhenge. And us mein we will try and study the Himalayas and other peninsular mountains. Indo Ganga Brahmaputra plain and Usko Firam uh, North North Eastern Mountains. This is the different uh, divisions and uh, physiographic divisions. We have to talk about the geological division. Ki baat ki hai, you have to be very clear. Okay, today what we have discussed are geological divisions. Okay, so these are. So these are geological divisions. One peninsular block, second uh, the Himalayan and peninsular mountains, and third the indo ganga Pramukutra plain. These three divisions and they are uh, geological divisions. And then in the next class we will be studying about the uh, physiography. Physiography means physical divisions. Coastal plains, deserts, islands, northern plains. Okay, so that we will be studying in the next class. And six have been given the northern and northeastern mountains, basically uh, Himalayan mountains, northern plain, and the peninsular plateau, the Indian desert, the coastal plains, and the islands. Obviously, some of them will overlap. If we talk about geological division, so ये तीन पार्ट हैं क्योंकि वो अलग-अलग टाइम पीरियड में और अलग-अलग तरीके से फॉर्म हुए हैं पर जब हम फिजिकल फीचर्स की बात करते हैं तब भी ऑब्वियसली रहेंगे तो यही पर उसमें एक एक डिवीजन और हो जाते हैं लाइक डेजर्ट एंड आइलैंड्स वो भी हो जाते हैं सो नेक्स्ट इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल लुकिंग इनटू द फिजिकल डिवीजंस ऑफ इंडिया ओके इट्स इट्स क्वाइट डिटेल फ्रॉम नेम्स विल अपीयर ओके सो वी विल डिस्कस एंड ट्राई एंड लर्न द details that come through. Okay, that's all in this class. I'll continue this in the next class. Thank you.